Hey what's going on guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how can make a multicolor gradient background for your website. Normally in your website you can either use a linear or radial these two types of gradient. But most of the time it looks so simple and which is not really very helpful to improve your design. So in this tutorial I'll show you how you can create a multicolor gradient and use it as a background in your website. So without further ado let's get into that. Ok so first of all we need to go to a website called photopia.com and you can see the interface almost look like a photoshop. So we can say it the online version of photoshop or whatever. Ok so right now we need to create a new file. So let's go to file and click on new. And from here we need to select the size of our file. So let's go to screen and I want to select this full HD. So you can see the resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixel and here this is really very important the DPI so we need to increase this value to get a really high quality image. So I want to make this to 300 and then if we click outside of this and you can see for changing this DPI our height and width has also been changed. So we need to make it to again 1920 by 1080 pixel and now let's click on create now in this empty file first of all i want to create a new layer so on this right bottom corner let's click on this new layer icon and you can see this new layer has been created and from the left panel i want to select the brush tool so let's click on here this brush tool and also select and color to paint with our brush tool so i want to select this type of reddish color ok and click on ok and here before we start painting I want to adjust my brush size so right click on anywhere and let's increase this to 150 pixel and let's reduce the hardness to fully 0% so I don't want any hard edges with my brush tool ok now let's click outside on this and let's start painting with this color so I wanna make this to like this Ok then I want to add another new color so for this let's add a new layer from here and let's choose a different color. So right now I want to select a sky blue color ok and click on ok and here let's paint this over here and here don't worry about this overlapping of these two colors if two colors has been overlapping with each other you don't need to also worry about that. So I want to put the color on here. Okay then also add a new layer and here let's put some yellow color and let's paint it over here. And here I also want to add some dark blue color. So add a new layer and choose the dark blue color. Okay let's add this color at the corner right here. Here I'm just putting this color in my way but you can also play around with different colors and also place that as where you want. Ok so let's finally add another color. So add a new layer and from here let's select a fully red color. Ok and finally paint it over here. and also paint it at the corner right here like this ok and finally at the bottom corner I also want to add some orange color so let's add another layer and let's select this orange color ok and paint it right here ok so here we have put it all of the colors and right now I want to use this color to make our gradient effect so for this first of all we need to select the layers so let's click on our first layer and let's go to the filters and from the blur option let's select the Gaussian blur and from here you can select the amount of blurness so let's make it to around 150 pixel ok and click on ok ok so now you can see our this red color has become blurry so we need to do the same with our remaining layers so let's select our layer 2 and again go to filter 
blur this gaussian blur and make it to the same 150 and click on ok and let's quickly do the same with our remaining layers okay so after adding this blur effect you can see our colors almost looks great but here now i want to make it more smooth so for this from here i want to now copy all of these layers again so let's choose the first layer and place on shift and select on the last layer so we have selected all of this and now i want to duplicate this so let's drag this to this new layer icon over here okay you can see all of the our layers has been duplicated so now with these duplicated layers i want to add more 150 pixel blur so it will look more smoother so now let's select the first duplicated layer and again go to the filter and under blur again select the gaussian blur let's make it to again 150 pixel and also do the same with this one okay so we have quickly added additional blur with our this six duplicated layer and now we can see our this image also looks more smoother and here lastly i want to do one more additional thing i want to additionally add some noise with all of these layers so if i go to the layers again and go to filters here is the option noise so from here let's click on add noise and i want to make it to very little so let's make it only one percent and click on ok and let's again do that with our remaining all of the layers okay so after adding noise with our all of these 12 layers now our this gradient also looks very smooth because by adding this noise now each of the intersection point of these colors it also looks very smooth and looks good so right now let's finally save this so again go to file and under export as let's save this as a jpeg image you can also save this as png or svg image but as i use this on my website so i want to keep it to lightweight so let's click on svg and from here make sure to increase the quality to 100 percent and click on save okay now let's go to our website and here you can see we have created this section by using the elementor page builder and here we have used a linear gradient background now i want to replace this linear gradient with our multicolor gradient background so for this first of all let's go to this edit section and here under this style tab you can see our background has already set to gradient we need to go back to this classic mode and from here from this image we need to upload our gradient background so let's upload this to here and click on insert media okay now you can see our this multicolor gradient background looks much better and here i am using the elementor page builder but if you are not using this page builder if you are only using wordpress you can also set that background by following almost the same process okay so right now lastly i want to set its position to center and let's also adjust the size to cover okay now let's finally update this page and if you preview this okay now you can see this multicolor gradient background looks really very great so that's how you can create this kind of multicolor gradient background for your website if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel that's it for today i'll see you on my next video